at the south of Safford, Arizona, I think it's called Pole Creek State Park or Pole Pole State Park, which is way out there somewhere. I'm coming up this mountain here, and uh, it's a dead end. But there's some snow up there, and I think the road's going to be gated uh, about another 15 miles. That's what I've heard. So uh, here I can see the road going. Looks like I see the cut over there. So anyway, that's going to be an awesome ride up there. It's about 60 degrees, I think. Fire up the old 690 and see how she does. curve in the road. Man, this has been a curvy road. Well, look at this old bridge over here. That's the old bridge. Is that something? I was hoping this road wasn't paved, but it is. Well, that bridge looks like running right into the mountain almost. Try this at home. Hundred and eighty. I'm up about 9,000 feet here and it is cold, cold, cold. I think we'll valley up here. So I'll turn the GPS on elevation. I'm at 8,799 feet. And before long I may put my jacket liner in. I'm still going up. There's a sign way back that said the road closed at 20 miles. I don't know if I went 20 miles yet or not. But I'm still going. Well, that valley down there was awesome. I didn't look like there's any roads at all out there. Look at the view here. I think tomorrow when I go to Aravapa Canyon, I think I'm going to be riding down in there, way up in there. I don't know how to pronounce that canyon, but by God, I'm going there. Road closed, 1,000 feet. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. Man, well, it ain't closed. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> no vehicles off roads. Well, hell, look at that semi. I could get around that gate. I better not, though. My wife finds out about it. She grabbed me by the earlobe. And what's up this way? Well, it's a road. gate up there too. Alright, time for a break. Well, the dirty bums putting up all these gates. Enough to piss an old man off. They just don't want you to have any fun. By God, I'm going to ride through this snow if it kills me.
Yeeha! Alright, I guess I gotta go back down the mountain. Man, what's wrong with that dirt road right there? Pecker Woods? Six thousand five hundred feet now. Yeah. I didn't say a guy on a bicycle. He rode all the way to the top. Yeah. I'm sure he's real experienced in coming down. He better have some, some windproof and warm clothes to wear. He'll free. He'll be froze when he gets to the bottom. I'm sure he realizes that. Yeah. Where this goes. That's the dangest thing I've ever seen in this dirt road I'm on. Look how this is all painted up. I gotta go on and see where it goes. And I see a dirt road down there. My campsite's out there somewhere. Ha! Ah. Well, let's see where this goes. There's a brick brick wall again. It 
It wasn't there for a while now to come back. There's a kind of dirt bike in the back of the campground I was at. And I'm seeing a one motorcycle track every once in a while. I bet it was him. He was on a 450 EXC. This road dead end. Uh, I bet this was the old road before they built the new one, the pavement I was on. And uh, there's more of it there. You can see where they cut it, cut through there. But uh, abandoned, I guess, for the new road. Well, it was neat riding back in here anyway. I was kind of hoping it'd, it'd go somewhere. Well, that dirt road I was riding on, I ran into uh, two girls in a Jeep, talked to them, and they said, that's that road back behind me there, they said, Way back when, who knows, in the 20s or 30s, they started building a road up the Swift Mountain, this road right there, and they just picked a bad way and they give up. They, it, they just uh, ran out of money and, and give up. It was just so hard. I don't know if they picked the picked wrong, wrong way or what. So uh, eventually they built a road up the mountain. This road right here is paved road that I've been riding on. I got to ride back five miles about back in there on the old dirt road. Kind of cool. I wouldn't know that if I hadn't ran into them girls. Man, oh man, it's warmed up. I can't believe how cold it was on that mountain up there, all right? It seemed like it dropped 10 degrees every thousand feet I went up. 